What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can read them for yourself, or you can just watch this video where I'm going to break them all down for you and everything. Also, before we get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm, and small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please, that's what you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. All right. Sorry, I'm just trying to rush this along because I'm so late in the day and everything. It's my son's birthday today, so I'm trying to get this shit done. Okay, so I'm going to get out of that way. Let's get started. All right, so Chad Stahelski... If you know who he is, he is a director now. He did all the stunts. He was Keanu Reeves' stunt double during the Matrix movies. So he is looking to be like a big thing. So he's going to be a filmmaker and he's taken on the franchises, of course, John Wick, which he created, and Highlander. Now, you know, so because Lionsgate is trying to get into the franchise business because that seems to be the big deal these days. And so he's using, so he's got, he's got uh, Chad Stahelski to create this, this world of John Wick. And it looks like they're going to be doing a, like a prequel and everything. And so it also looks like he's going to be doing the Highlander series. So, well, let's talk about the, this. Let's, I want to read these, uh, this uh, Highlander, what he, when he talks about John Wick and Highlander, <laughs> sorry, this quote from him. And then I'll talk about what I think about everything. So it says, this deal expands on a great creative relationship we already have in place on John Wick and extends it to our Highlander franchise. Joe Drake, the outgoing chair of Lionel. Lionsgate Motion Pictures Group and Adam Fogelson, chair of the MPG, said from the outset, Chad has been the creative force defining the world of Wick. As we continue to think about the future for that world, we want Chad working together with Basil Awaki, I don't know how to say his name, and Erica Lee of Thunder Road as our stewards guiding us and strategizing together at every step. This deal makes it official and we look forward to his steady hand and creative input, not just on the film he was is making, but other stories that arise from it. He is a true visionary, and we are thrilled to have him on in our corner. So he has signed a deal to help bring along these two franchises. Now, I think the John Wick franchise is great. I love those movies. I even love that fourth one. Well, I would say that, yeah, probably, maybe the second one's my least favorite. I can, I can't barely remember. That's the one with Ruby Rose, isn't it, right? Right? And she's, like, deaf or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I just, I think she doesn't speak, which is probably the best for her in movies. She's got a great look. That's her thing. She's just like, you look great, but when you start talking, your acting doesn't shine through. So... He is going to be, now, what do I think about this? First off, John Wick, I'm, I'm not talking about Highlander. So John Wick, I think this is good, except first off, I, John Wick died in that last one. And I think that it's like, when they started the, 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 the first movie, it was about revenge. You know, they killed his dog, it was the last gift from his wife, and I love that first movie. That's my favorite John Wick movie. Just because it was so raw and so, like, something you had, you know, not seen before, but seen before kind of thing. You get what I'm saying. So I think that 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 his whole story is he's he's getting revenge. First it was in the first book, he uh, in the first movie, he was getting revenge on those guys for killing his dog, which was the last gift from his wife. The second movie it went from that to the to the high table and the the people running his little organization of assassins. So I think that that's that that and but now it's like, you know, how far could that could this franchise have gone? You know, I mean, it's like you know, John Wick can only can only do the same thing every single movie so many times before you're like, all right, who is he mad at this movie? You know, uh, is he mad at the doorman for not opening the door fast enough? Because oh, it's like it's it's very much like, uh, you know, how far can this go? And they're doing that ballerina movie with uh, Ana de Armas, which I will be watching because I love Ana de Armas. And I did see some uh, a YouTuber uh, say something about how that vampire ballerina movie was was gonna like kind of cut into that, and I'm just like, wait, what? That has nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Um, but uh, you know, people have their opinions, which is fine. So I think that the John Wick. I, I understand that Lionsgate doesn't have too many franchises, and the ones they do have, like uh, the Hunger Games or whatever, it's like 
those are now like, I mean, if it's not done, it's like kind of done. So it's like, eh, what are you going to do? But I understand that they're trying to find franchises slash IP so they can expand on. So the other one is Highlander. Now, what do I think about this? I love Highlander, the first one. Not the second one. And the second one sucks. And I love the show. If you ever watch that show, it's so good. And the whole thing about Highlander is, in case you didn't know, is they're these immortals. They live forever. But if they come in contact with another immortal, they usually fight. And they have to take their head. And when you take the head of another immortal, their power goes to you because there can only be one. It's very good. I love the first movie so much. With uh, and, and I just, uh, I think that... I'm excited to see another one. So a lot of talk is about Henry Cavill playing the Highlander, Duncan McCloud. Um, and I, I'm on for it. I love Henry Cavill. That man is uh, very good looking. And he's you know, not a bad actor and everything. I, I mean, I have heard things that he's, he's hard to get along with and stuff, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, I go, uh, if, if he's got a fan base and that fan base constantly shows up and it's profitable then I say put him in it you know and maybe maybe you know and I've I've, I've heard that he wants a list status on set and I'm like but this is the thing if he can if he, he can prove like if they put him in a movie like that Argyle movie if people show up to that Argyle movie to see Henry Cavill then obvious and, and it's profitable like I said before then it's like put him in it because if, he, if he's profitable and he's a name that people will go see, then why wouldn't you put him in it? You know what I'm saying? So we'll see how all this turns out. But I say, I mean, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Chad Stahelski signing this deal with Lionsgate to, to kind of cultivate and prune and everything and kind of do everything with the John Wick franchise and the Highlander franchise? Are you excited about both? Do you think they should bring back Keanu Reeves to the John Wick franchise? Or do you think they just should keep doing these offshoots like the ballerina? Um, and if you do, where do you think the story can be taken? I mean, they've talked about a prequel and everything, but I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm kind of not interested in that and everything. But at the same time, uh, I want to see Counter Reeves uh, fighting people and, and shooting up and everything. So good. Also, how do you feel about that Highlander idea? Like, and do you want to see Henry Cavill as the Highlander? Or do you think somebody else should be given a chance and everything? I love Highlander. It's so good. I, I love those movies. But yeah, you guys, tell me what you guys think about all of this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.